<laughs> hey guys, name's Fen, playing Thief 2X. Last time, I promised to read something. I made a solemn oath to promise to read something, and now I'm going to promise it. I promised to read something, and now I'm going to actually do it. So first, I guess I'm going to put this note down on the desk, and then I'm going to read it. Bishop Cavador, this may come as a shock to you, but I have recently spent time investigating a certain tourist shop in town, the Goody Bag, and have found it to be a front for a group of smugglers who have taken up residence in the caves and tunnels beneath Sunnyport. Though you believe yourself to have removed this threat from Sunnyport years ago, I assure you it still thrives. These thieves steal art and paintings, and I suspect they have even begun to practice slave trading. You will know that my words are true if you will but hurry to investigate the goodie bag this very morning, for these smugglers have acquired the Orb of St. Basmus, an artifact which I believe is of some value to your order. I know not how long they have been pillaging Hammer property, but when I found this piece in their possession, I could no longer restrain myself from reporting their criminal activities. Sincerely, a concerned citizen. Also, when am I going to get to be able to screw again? When you don't have to, son. <laughs> That's not how Breen sounds at all. I feel... I feel as if two paths stretch out before me. I've finally met the controversial Brother Karras. I will dare to call him Brother here in my writings, for I see in his eyes and hear in his words the same devotion to the Builder that fuels my heart. As I stood shivering in the cold, for Quartermaster Samuel has yet to be found, Karras spoke of the new writings of the Master Builder, his own vision for the future of those who would follow, and a new order which will undoubtedly surpass the glory of the Hammerites. Despite the winter air, I was enveloped in the warmth of the Builder as Karras spoke of a marine project, the Cetus Amicus, he so called it. He has been observing my career from afar and has somehow gained knowledge of my experience in such areas. I am almost suspicious that he has been reading this journal and is aware of my doubts and fears. How different from my current leaders. This man is a visionary, not bogged down in tradition and legalistic jargon which only serve to complicate the plan of the Builder. They are right. I have given no answer as yet, for such a decision cannot be made lightly, nor with carnal concerns. I would lose many friends over such a drastic defection. Still, I stand to gain so much more in the mechanist order. Yet another decision to make. Quartermaster Samuel's family came to claim his body today. Such a tragedy. He was a faithful brother who served our mission well. I am perplexed as to how he met his demise. Again, the Builder seems to lay obstacles in my path, issues to consider. Samuel will be hard to replace, and I have little heart to seek another quartermaster. Perhaps it shall not be my burden to bear if I forsake this calling to follow Karras. Onam has yet to return from the mausoleum, and I fear the worst. It has been now three weeks, and the last of our order to venture there did so less than a generation ago. Many of those brothers left the service of the Builder, their faith shaken to the core. Whether the orb will be of... Any aid to the failing Hammerite order I know not, but I wish no ill toward Brother Onam. Despite his recent behavior, he is a faithful servant of the Builder and should be rewarded for his courage and tenacity in this matter. My newfound hope in the teachings of Karras give me pause concerning the orb. If Onam is successful in recovering the artifact, I will not turn it over to the Hammerites to use against Brother Karras. Better it remain in the depths of those tombs than to become a weapon in this coming battle between the Builder's children. Okay. Oh man, hey, guess what? There's more. Hmm. All must hear the words of Karras. My eyes have seen the vision of the Builder's will, the breaking of the Metal Dawn. Why would not the Builder use all manner of tool and trade to shape his people? Is the Builder so small that his hand is only upon the hammer of our forebearers? The Builder hath created man with the ability to wield not only the mallet, but also the pen, not just the hammer, but the gear. Is the Builder of lesser matter than his own children? Are we not created in his image to follow in his ways? How creative the works of the Builder appear to my eyes! He uses all manner of men and all manner of tool to accomplish his purpose. He conforms all to his will. Why, then, will we be ashamed to do the same? Nay, brothers, we should be ashamed if we fail to do likewise. Do not all men belong to the Builder? Does not the metal and the very soil from which it comes bear the mark of his great artistry? Why then, my brothers, do we bind ourselves in the tradition of the hammer, when the Builder has set no such bond upon us? Why do we shun the use of any manner of man, when the Builder has seen fit to use any man to his own glorious ends? We must loose ourselves from the shackles of our past, from our narrowness and hypocrisy, and take up the new way. I have 
touched the tools of the builder, gear, steam, flame, earth, hammer, and yes, the cog, but none to the exclusion of the other. We must join together the bounty of his provision to reach higher for the sake of the builder's glory and for the sake of this glorious calling he has placed upon each of us. Wow, pretty, uh, pretty excited there. Uh, also, that sounds pretty reasonable, actually, so it's easy to see why people became mechanists and stuff. But, uh, yeah. Now, I've pretty much done everything, quote-unquote, so let us once again... ...die, except it's not enough, so now I have to jump off a bridge. I mean, God. Wow! I'm only missing 25! Holy shit, I, but I'm missing two secrets? Oh, I don't want to go look at them secrets in a walkthrough. That's cheating. Maybe there's a secret in the bathroom. Maybe. In fact, it seems incredibly likely. No. Oh, wait. I totally forgot again about this outside place. I remember this shed all the time. God damn it. Mouse pad. What's Filth and dirt on it. Anyways, I remember this shed. <laughs> you gotta stay out of because I guess you can use a gas arrow in it. My tired eyes play tricks, or I did see something move. What was that? And stuff. Because I don't know. You probably don't have to, but maybe the last twenty-five loot. Oh crap! Holy crap! Feel the sting of mine hammer. <laughs> uh, yeah. Well. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine. Now I can open this gate. But alas, there was no loot in here to be found, he said, narrating as if it were a story. Oh, and this thing is closed. How disappointing. Oh, hey. That's not really worthy to place a gas arrow there. It's not too non-obvious. And it's not a secret. Nor are these fruits. I can't fathom why. Ticket, please. Oh. Next. That means that... Two secrets probably don't have any loot in them. What would be the point? Seem to have picked up two water arrows from here. That's, that's, that's secretive, right? Unfortunately, Finn found, to his chagrin, that it wasn't. At least it'll let me extend this video into something resembling a full-length episode. <laughs> you know, if there was some gem in this water, it would be impossible to see with this upgraded water texture, too. Oh, the trials of graphical upgrades. Oh. Oh, hand on the fo- oh. Hi, there's a dead zombie here. Something. What the deal? Does he have a purse on him? <laughs> I didn't even notice. I just kind of walked right past him because he's not really real. How spooky. But he didn't have anything. And that door disappeared when I opened it too. Jeez, the doors are all completely broken. It's ridiculous. It's real bad. This, was, well, this is what I was afraid of in this city. Also, I think this guy cares about me now. Yeah, I must have done something to piss this guy off that I don't even notice. Apparently these guys are really sensitive, so I, I bead doing a thing that made him be more sensitive. Hey, Steve! Get out of my burled cabbage! Wow, that sure is a lot of hammers. And one of them is incredibly short, almost kid-sized. That's bizarre. I don't... I guess he's a child being reared properly in the order of the hammer and stuff. Now that this guy cares about me, I'm gonna have to deal with him properly and take his health potion, which I totally don't need. But hey, being a thief is all about taking things you don't need. Otherwise, there'd be no fun! Hmm. <laughs> oh, man. Moss arrows. Least exciting item you can get. Jeez! <laughs> This is what I mean about this town, you know, it's got so many complicated streets in it that you just, you can never, rem like, try to find places you haven't been before. I mean, who knows where I haven't been, like, I just can't remember where's where. Maybe this is new. Those windows look like somewhere I haven't been. But it doesn't look like I could very easily get up there. Maybe so. I don't think I'm supposed to, though. One would imagine that... New mantling would allow me to get into here, but old mantling wouldn't. I don't know. Unless I could just jump right through. Oh. What? Well, I'm not supposed to jump right through. I'm supposed to just hang ropes here. But once again, it is neither a secret nor loot. It should be a secret. Like, it should be a secret or loot. It should be one of those two at least. I mean, friggin' geez, I've got enough health to deal with this. But, yeah, I mean, come on. 
I think this is one of those missions that's perfectly fun to play if you're not going for 100%, but if you are, kind of annoying. Or, you know, I've just got Let's Play Syndrome, which I do, so, you know, I... Still heard about some shoe shop where what has a hole in the roof what needs to be fixed. I don't know about that. No. Well, you know, I seem to remember there's some place kind of over here that maybe I didn't completely check out, but... <laughs> at least that's what I thought, but I seem to be mistaken. Yeah. For some reason, there's a hammer in this part of town. Well, that cannot be abided by. Much like vows of poverty. That cannot be allowed to exist! Well, I did go in here. Uh, but, however... I didn't check under the bed for monsters! Ooh! No monsters. Real or otherwise. There's this weird, pointless balcony that's very suspicious. It looks like there's nothing here at all. I mean, could be a good candidate for a secret, but... What do I know about dates with candid people? <laughs> Nothing! Man, I'm a nerd. Relevant. Well, I can kind of pretend to get on the roof. Oh, hey. This balcony is another way to get on the roof. To get into this secret, which I already got. So, imagine that. I used to think you had to do it from the other side, but I guess you don't have to. That's, you know, only if you want to. It's, it's an optional feature. Buy it at the dealer today. 25. Loot is probably something really stupid and obvious. Stupid because it's obvious. Found something under these stairs. Found it. Oh, no, no, it's just a water arrow. Great. Ha ha. It's hilarious. We get it. A bum slept under here with a neatly packed sleeping roll. It's it's funny. He kept a water arrow for a drink. Hilarious joke. But seriously, where's the loot? I'm mad. <laughs> Hang on. I was up here before, but I didn't notice this thing behind, pretty sure. This might be the ticket I'm looking for. More water! What is with this place? I mean, seriously, water! What is this, the Atlantic Ocean? What is this, the Mammon Machine? Location? Thing? That's totally bizarre. Of all the equipment to give, why water arrows? This guy... So I can't way, I'm not even allowed to attack them. <laughs> Like, do I have a noisemaker or anything? Does gas arrowing count? How does it go? Probably. Who? <laughs> Crack him right over the head. That's what I. All right. Who's sneaking up <sighs> out down? Something tickles my memory about this place. You know, it's funny. Why is that statue all rotated weirdly? I, I don't quite know what it is, but <gasps> there. There's probably one of the secrets. Probably isn't the loot, but how... how to get up there? And also, these guys are in the way, because I could just blackjack them, but hey. They're in the way of me shooting ropes or anything. Oh, I'm supposed to shoot ropes, so really, yeah, I do need these guys to be out of the picture. <laughs> Done. Alright, I guess it's just gonna be a simple matter of shooting a rope. Funny, I thought you had to do something with this statue, like climb on top of it. I don't know why I would think that, but eh. Maybe there's a piece of loot sitting right next to this gas arrow, but given this mission's propensity to give equipment out all the time instead of loot, I really... And it's not even counted as a secret! Come on, you guys! That was secret-worthy! I mean, friggin' hell. <laughs> you know what? I remember there being like a bookcase secret up in some form of hammer quarters. Maybe there is. But... That would be pointless, probably, so who knows. Also, this guy's gonna be wherever the hell I left him now, and so once again I'm gonna have to sneak- Oh, hey, he's actually in a perfect position. That's great. This really should have been caught in beta, if you want my opinion. I mean, for real. Maybe one of these guys has a purse. It's possible. Well, well, what do you know? I found yet more equipment in a place I've been before. Amazing! Yeah, this mission's really annoying to search. <laughs> I gotta say, really annoying. And since I'm doing it off camera, I shouldn't have LP syndrome for the duration, so what curves? Could I be a fool? Well, there's this strange blue tower, but I don't think there's any pickable crates in this entire mission, so fat to that. Oh wow! Oh wow! More water arrows! Imagine that shit! Imagine it! Imagine it! What's an order? Wonder if this zombie can be blown up! 
God knows I ain't got nothing better to do. <laughs> Lame! That should be a secret. You ask me, you blow the zombie up, there's like a hole underneath him with a ring in it for no explicable reason. That sounds cool to me, like seriously. The last 25 is apparently a pedestrian walking the streets. Great! Now I have to just walk around the whole town missing him forever and until I find it. Great! Did I mention I love Thief 2 <laughs> Which I do, you know. Everybody has their flaws, and I don't love this game any less just because it's got a really terrible flaw of a pedestrian walking the street. No, I don't love you any less for it. No, mm -hmm. just because you're an idiot doesn't mean I don't love you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> anyway, maybe I'll just wait. I even saw him. I saw one guy walking the streets. I don't know why I didn't notice there was a purse on him. Weird. I think I would have taken it or something. I must have. What's my problem? Pretty sure the guy was walking by here. I don't know if I KO'd him. I don't think so, because I would have put him around somewhere. So maybe I'll just wait here. That sounds like fun gameplay, right? All right. Whoever he was, I think he might have disappeared. There he is. He's not the guy I was thinking of at all. The guy I was thinking of had a red shirt, whereas this guy had a green shirt. I guess since that other guy had a red shirt, that's why he disappeared. <laughs> also, now I have full loot, and also apparently there are only two secrets in this mission, and the... Two out of four is just a bug, so... <sighs> Let's just finish this freaking thing. Here. Wow. This was a complete fail of an episode, but well, you gotta have one of those sometimes, I guess. Let's go to sleep. Let's pretend to go to sleep. Alright. All of that. All secrets, even though it says four, there's actually only two. See you guys next time. Hopefully the next one will go smoothly. Er, see you guys later. Bye for now. No and this time, though. We couldn't afford it.